Okay, this is a short lecture about Carl Friedrich Gauss. He was born in 1777 and he died in 1855. He's a German mathematician. At the age of seven, a teacher gave him a question. She wanted him to add up every number from one to a hundred. Now, Carl Friedrich Gauss didn't do what every other student did. He didn't count each and every number individually. He didn't go 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 etc. He did something more spectacular. Now I am going to show you exactly what he did in this video. If you want to count the number 1 all you need is one square, right? So you get 1. Now if you want to add 1 plus 2 you don't necessarily have to go 1 plus 2, right, which is 3. What you can do is create a 2 by 3 rectangle, right, that's a 2 by 3 rectangle, get the area of that rectangle and cut it in half, and that will give you the result of 1 plus 2. As you can see here, we've got 3 squares, 1 plus 1, 2 which is three squares, filled out, right? But in this rectangle, there are six squares in total. So we know that one plus two is six divided by two. As you can see here, two times three divided by two is six over two, which is three. Now, what would you do if you wanted to add 1 plus 2 plus 3? We know the answer is 6, right? We can add up these numbers in a different way. We can create a 3 by 4 rectangle. 3 times 4 is 12. You divide the area of this rectangle by 2 and you get 6, right? As you can see here, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, to figure out what 1 plus 2 plus 3 is, all you have to do is 3 times 4 divided by 2, which is 12 over 2, which is 6. Now, what if you want to add 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4? What you'll do is create a 4 by 5 rectangle, which, is, which has an area of 20, and you divide it by 2, which is 10. Right? Now, as you can see, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 squares here filled out, out of a possible 20. So, if you want to add 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, all you have to do is 4 times 5 divided by 2, which is 20 divided by 2, which is 10. Now, Carl Friedrich Gauss used this method to count every number from 1 to 100 and he came up with a result instantly after his teacher had asked him to count every number from 1 to 100. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it has enlightened you and subscribe to my channel if you want to watch more maths videos. Thank you for watching.